If you'd like a combination of big mountain fun, outstanding snow, and spectacular scenery, how about a trip to this area, Gunstock in the Lakes region of New Hampshire. Gunstock is less than two hours from Boston. It has day and night skiing and outstanding snow, thanks to 4.5 million invested in snowmaking equipment in the past three years. As for the views, well, I'll let you decide. Some late week snow will fall in the mountains of the Northeast, but Holiday Valley and Peak and Peak started this week with a foot of fresh snow and a half a foot piled up at Swain. The annual Penguin Paddle to support the adaptive ski program is on this weekend at Holiday Valley. Bristol Mountain continues to roll along and enjoy a solid snow year. Greek Peak and Cortland's in nice shape as well. In central New York, the weekend underway with light to moderate snow at Song Mountain, Labrador, and Snow Ridge. Now, if you're looking to avoid holiday crowds, I suggest a day or night on the slopes at Macaulay Mountain, Woods Valley, or Royal Mountain. Wyndham will host big air and slope style events this weekend. They are in nice shape, as are Gore and Whiteface in the Adirondacks. A combination of natural snow Snow and grooming have softened the surfaces at Killington, Stowe, and Smuggler's Notch. Out west, Sun Valley and Telluride got some new snow this week, but Jackson Hole got hit hard. They're now over 400 inches for the season. Utah is swimming in powder right now. Conditions at Snowbird, Alta, and Park City are about as good as they can get. For the next week or so, the thermometer is going to continue to take Easter resorts on a bit of a roller coaster ride. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman.